channel the most. All right. Hey, we got to get the likes up, please. We got 76 likes and we got 180 people watching. You got to make it make sense. Come on, 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 come on. Let's get the likes up. That's what helps the channel the most, man. Damn. Shout out to the fellas for being transparent, answering straight up. Because that shit is invaluable. I hope the rest of you two people in the streets can learn from that shit. It's okay being okay. God damn it. You know what I mean? Love. What's up? Let's dig a little deeper. You got a question for the fellas? Sure do. I have several of them. Let me Let's hand out my, my handy dandy list. So the thank you, let fellas. This, let me play them. Let me play this for these niggas before they start. You're a victim. Mm. All this whining and shit. You get the rings knocked out, you so be it, man. Answer the questions. Go ahead, love. For that preamble. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, fellas. Um, it, it kind of two sets of questions, but this one because a more general one. Do you how do you get to know what your woman wants? How do like, you, how do you go about her? how do you how do you go about knowing what yeah, learning her? How do you learn your woman? Now, your woman or dating? Dating, but we ain't doing courtship and dating, it's dating, like just dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that. When you're dating your woman to get to know her, how how do you learn her? So preliminarily, right? Kind of like first date, second date, first month. Yeah, you're still trying to get to know her. Like, how are you? Okay. How, are you how you go about it? Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it, me. Joe. I'll, I'll hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't want to hear you go first, Joe. Ah. <laughs> you got, you got to you, communicate. You, you got to ask questions, and the most important thing is you got to pay the fuck attention to what she's saying. That's so, Joe, what are some of the questions? What are some of the questions you would ask? You know, I try to get to know him, like you know, not not just baseline stuff. You know, I live here in DC, where what do you do is king. Everybody trying to figure out, you know, what you work, where you work at, and how much money you make. I really don't give a shit about all that. As long as you make enough money to forge your lifestyle, that's the most important thing. I'm more so concerned about, you know, what do you like to do? You know, where do you how, do you like to travel? Like, what's the last good book you read? Like you watch, like you you in the sports. What's your hobbies? You know what you like doing your free time, stuff like that. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, GB cheeky. What you want me to call you? Cheeky or GBG? Which one? No, you can call me. That's fine. All right, cheeky. Um, I think uh, communication is is the key. Um, you just need to have honest conversation. About what's going on. I think a lot of the times you, know, you get to know people from their past, like as far as like growing up, um, understanding maybe what's been instilled in them, interactions with parents. Do they still like their parents or why, why not? You know, a lot of those conversations, um, mm -hmm. you can hear a lot of either pain or enjoyment or a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you can lead on to like where your morals are and then like, hey, what do you think about? Okay. Don't go heavy. Don't go crazy in the politics. But like, where you lean a little bit? Like, hey, if you had to, if you had to, you want the world a little bit more liberal. You want the world a little more conservative. And then from that point, you kind of make some assumptions about our cultural expectations. I'm like that. Mm -hmm. So a little bit deeper. How do you get thinking? I appreciate that. How do you get to know what she wants? Um, you you look at her actions and and you try to make the environment comfortable enough for her to expose things she probably wouldn't. Uh, mm -hmm. so a lot of the times, um, for example, what I would suggest is when they get to talking, just let them talk. <laughs> don't, mm -hmm. don't cut in, don't interrupt them. Just, just no, let them like, I mean, of course give signals that like, yeah, I'm listening. Like, Oh, Hey, run that back. Like sometimes you hear something perfectly. But just say, hey, run that back for me. One time. I missed it. Mm -hmm. Even though you didn't miss it, just do it to know, like, just give key signals to let them know. I'm an active listener to your story and who you are as a person. I'm, and I'm interested. Um, at that point, you know, she kind of spill whatever, depending on the last time she talked to somebody. Okay. Matter of fact, cool. to, to touch on to touch on what he just said, if you really, really want a woman to like really spill it off, take her on a date that requires walking. Okay. When a woman starts walking, 
they cannot stop talking. Facts, fa facts on that. You got to just mm -hmm. sit back and just listen and ask the right open-ended questions. Such as, Corey? Well, see, I'm a little different. See, I, I, I'm a little different. Well, see, shows how you different. I'll ask her, <laughs> different in the context of I'll ask someone what she wants, and then I'll listen to what she's accepted, and I'll present how what she wants but i'm going to actually treat her the way she's been accepting treatment because that's what because that's what's going to get me the results and i'm all about the results okay i think i'm following what you're saying can you got a question what like so you're saying like her past how she was treated in her past oh how she allowed men to treat her in her past tells mm -hmm. you the winning formula okay so let's do this you how do you get her formula? Okay. Um, unless she was treated poorly, um, and oftentimes that's a sentiment uh, from a lot of black women. Um, so what? Uh, how do you get her to divulge that type of information? Um, ask. Like I said asking certain questions. Certain give us activities. one question. So give me one question so we can use it. All right. All right. So the first question, well, the first thing that I would give her or ask her is off the mm -hmm. bat, I would just ask about her previous relationship. And, and I would ask in the way of, <clears throat> why did he break up with you? Because nine times out of okay. 10, she's the one that broke up. And then once I ask that question, she'll feel a certain way about it and be like, uh-uh, he didn't break up with me. I broke up with him and blah, 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 blah. This happened, this happened, this happened, that happened, this happened. And I, I just sit back and take notes. Oh, so you push her buttons. I wouldn't call it pushing buttons. I just know what, what question to ask from, from being a, like, for example. Well, Corey, Corey, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Cause you have to admit that you are pushing her buttons because when you mimicked her reaction, it was a reaction of somebody who was annoyed. Oh, well, I, I mean, well, that's, that's just my impersonation of a, of, of a woman happy or, or, or annoyed. It's, it's going to be the same. Okay. This is going to be the same. Are you asking that um, the person? Oh yeah, on the first day I don't play around. I, I ask the question that I need. I need the information I need to know. I don't. I don't go on first dates like what's your favorite color and, and all the bullshit. I, I go in for what I need to know. I need to know how to interact with you, and I need to know how how to give it to you to get to get the desired results. It's it's hmm. it's, it's like the Superman. It's like the Superman versus Clark Clark Kent syndrome, where. Clark Kent yeah. is into he's 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 sensitive. He's all about Lois. Uh, he, he wants to make her the center of her world. Um, he wants to do getting doing do, do anything to get her attention. She knows what he does for a living, so it means financially she, she approves. But the man that she wants is the dude who super masculine, not paying attention to her, doing everything else in the world. That's the man that she wants, but as soon as she gets him, what she wants him to be is Clark Kent. It's Clark Kent. So I just listen. I just listen, listen, present how she present what she says she wants, but treat her exactly what she's been accepting, and it works every single time. So let me ask a question, um, Joel. When you hear this, is this about getting pussy or a relationship? I say results, whatever the result may be. If, if the result is getting no, to a second, no, Corey, we got no, no, we got. I just, I'm just thinking. I'm okay, just looking gotcha. for no. You, you answer. You answer substantively based on what what it, what the result that you want. Also, I'm just asking Joel based on your answer. Do you think this is more um, conducive to getting vagina or a relationship? Uh, this sounds to me sounds more like leading towards the vagina side. Because uh, mm, I, I, I mean, I'm because I'm, I'm wondering if you. Again, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're, there's nothing wrong with the approach, but at the same time, like you know, when you start asking questions as far as what happened in her last relationship, like how do you like how she responds? Like how do you know she's being honest? Like even even she tells you what happened in the relationship, how do you know she's only how do you know she's only giving her side and not and not what not what actually happened? Well, I'm taking it as how she's interpreting the the, the situation. I'm not accounting for. His view, I'm I'm giving to her how she interprets it. Uh, yeah. That's how I'm taking it. Yeah, no, that's fair. And that's why it is vagina centric. 
Yeah. It's not yeah. relationship centric. No, I, 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 no, I would I, say I would say it's relationship. No. It can be relationship centric because here's it, why it's it, not it corn. Be because if, if the truth, well, just one second, let me answer corn. The reason why I know it's not is because the truth should matter if you want to take her personal. But if you just mm-hmm. taking her side so you can hear what 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 will appease to her. Right, mm-hmm. and then you can acquiesce to that to get vagina, but you need the whole story for it to be important to moving into a relationship. I know, and I was getting ready to say to get the whole story is is like say, okay, if I asked him, this is the, how you, I, I feel. I, I asked that same. Question. Or he didn't say, say that though. Well, no, well, I know, but I'm just saying, like on the back end of that, okay, this is what you say, right? Okay, if I talk to your man, what would he say? That's that's how. That, I'm uh, no, right? that's different though, but that's that's not what Corey said though. Yeah, Corey, the way Corey presents it, but Corey, real quick, let me just say how you're presenting it. It is to hear how she caused pain so that you can go around it and then hit that sensitive part of her and then to get the puss. Like, it, it sounds kind of manipulative no, the way no, you're doing no, it. I'm no. just telling you how it comes across. I'm, I'm telling you how it comes across. You may not think so. Remember, I'm, how, I'm society. Remember, it's Corey. Well, I mean, that's yeah, how I'm society. society. Hold, on. I'm hold, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. That's how, you're, that's how you're deciding to see it. You're deciding to see the glass half empty versus half full. If... <laughs> If the goal, like, like for like me, the goal is to find one solid woman, right? I have to get to certain places with her. The more layers I can peel back, the more the person I get to see. The more the person I get to see, the better decisions I can make for me and her. Hmm. So that, <laughs> okay. I mean... You're not buying. I mean, the only reason why you're not buying is because most men probably have dealt with you in that manner. But I'm telling you, the fact the fact no, that matters. No, that has nothing to do with it. Name, I'm just telling you, no, that okay. has nothing to do with it. But Alex, you got a question? But, but the next, no, I was just going to ask. The, hold, hold, just, just really quick. Huh? Just really quick. The name of the game is to get from one day to two days to three days and so forth until you get until you get to the point that you gather enough information to make the right decision. For you, is it for who? For you? And I just thought the word collective because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna call you on your crap, Corey. Earlier, the, earlier tonight, you said you could keep with a girl for two years and not be intentional about being with her. You said that. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to get what I'm gonna get from her. Like you are the type of guy. You said it yourself. Admittedly, I'll be this girl for two years. Just get what I can get from her. I don't care if my man slept with her. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna want him to help me out. So I can get more from her. That. <laughs> Okay, now let me answer that. So let's go back to that. So <laughs> let's go back to that. Now, can I be with a woman for two years and not? Absolutely, I can do that because sometimes it takes time. This isn't something that can be done overnight on one day or two dates. It takes time. So if it takes two years or three years, if I get to that point, I'm saying, yo, look, this is not for me. Just I'm going to manage my losses and keep it moving. So, yes, I could absolutely date a woman for two years and be like, all right, I've gone as far as this is going to go. I'm out. I've seen women produce other human beings with with another with another man and still be like, OK, I've gotten to a certain point. Now I'm out. I'm calling. I can't BS do that. More. I'm I'm like, I want Alex to talk, but I'm Hold calling on. BS on that, too, because a man, a man knows. Yeah, it's not take ass. years for a man to know. But go, I'm sorry, Alex. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I just I just want to know. I just want to know how that's worked out for you traditionally, because to Asia's point, I'm just saying, like, you seem like you're speaking it from logic and this has worked and this is your test and shrewd way of thinking. But how has that worked for you? Um, it's worked very well. I've, I've, I've met a lot of wonderful women. I've, I've, I've had a lot of wonderful relationships. I've had a lot of good, good times and a lot of, a lot of good experiences. So has that produced vagina or did that relationships? What should it produce for you? It's pr- it's produced me it pr- it's produced me maximizing my time on this planet in a healthy in a healthy way. One of the two, vagina or relationship. Once again, first of all, uh, getting hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. minute. No no, I, no Corey, because no because the that. question no because the no. question doesn't repu- no because you're acting you're act you give me an equation that really that this really nigga's scared and not a man. Corey, no, you're it, asking it, it, a question that, that, that's okay too. Just say that. That's no, perfect. what's it about? For, no, what's it about for me is me maximizing my time and, and enjoying life as best as I can. If it's if, if if it's being in a relationship, great. If it's just having sex, great. It's about me maximizing my time. And the end goal for me is not to say 
I got married. That's a woman thing. Women take pride in getting married. When a woman gets married, when a woman gets engaged or married, it's, oh my God, girl, you got engaged, blah, blah, blah. But when a dude and other men find out, oh, William got engaged, damn. When did that happen? Hmm. It's, it's, it's like a disease or something. It's looked, it's looked upon differently. I'm just so, trying to, once again, I am not promised to be here for 30 years. I'm just trying to maximize each day that I can. So just to clarify. All right, no, 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 that's it. No more, no more follow up questions. Fuck that. Right, All right. Not, not to him, not to him. I got another yeah. question, but I don't want Alex to ask her question. No, 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 you're good, you're good. And we out.